made in 25 moves. Are you ready? Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Grandmaster Nitzan Steinberg and today we will see one of the most beautiful exercises I have solved in my life. If you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe my channel and share it with your friends and family. I really want to recommend you stop now the video and challenge yourself and try to solve this extra wonderful puzzle. So if you succeeded, don't be shy, write in the comments below, I did it. And now I will show you the solution. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So ladies and gentlemen, we have very interesting puzzle today. Great tactic, let's solve it together. So what do we have? We have queen and two rooks, we have five pawns against, we have queen, two rooks, bishop, knight, and five pawns. So we are down a bishop and a knight, and of course, we must understand that black is threatening so much things. Queen d1, for example, after king a2, rook d2, it's a checkmate. So black is threatening checkmate in two moves. Another thing that a2 is also a checkmate very soon after a2, king a1, bishop d4 checkmate, queen d4 checkmate, right? And after a2, king c2 also queen will be checkmate so black is giving a checkmate if we will not win it you know before he's putting our you know the checkmate of course so how can we do it because yes we have rook on ha that is doing a great job in this row and we have this queen that is very close to the to the black king and also this pawn on g6 is doing a great job you know to um to, to disturb the king from coming to f7, you know, he's avoiding some, some critical squares. But how can we win it? For, for example, the first intuition that comes to my mind is to play the move queen to f5 check. Because if king, if the black's king, um, you know, like uh, going to e8 or e7, we will put the checkmate on f7, right? But the problem that after queen f5 check, Black has the opportunity to play the move queen f6 and just, you know, like um, not giving uh, uh, the opportunity to, to put the checkmate on the board. So after queen takes f6, g takes f6, rook h3 to h7, right? Let's see it. Queen f5, for example, queen f6 takes, takes. Rook 3, h7 with with the point that rook f7, king e8, rook g8 will be a checkmate. But unfortunately, black is just pushing a2 check, right? And after king c2, the only move that we can play um, we, without uh, bringing the, the queen with the check, right? For example, king b2, a1 with check, and king a1, bishop d4, checkmate. So king c2 is the only move uh, that white can play, but unfortunately rook d2 check, and after king c3, black will promote with the, with the check, and black will win it easily. So unfortunately queen f5 is not the main issue here with white. So how can we give a check? Because we understand, in this position we must do it fast, as fast as we can. So rook g8 comes to my mind, king takes g8, and now only check that I can see is rook h8 check. King takes h8, so we already sacrificing two rooks into the game. King is coming to h8, you can, you can see it in your head, right? Queen h5 check, king comes back to g8. Queen h7 check, king f8. Queen h8 check, king e7 the only move. Queen takes g7 check, king e6. The only move, right? Because king e8, queen f7, check, mate, right? Because we have this pawn this, that covering this square. So after king e6, queen f7, check, also we will play. The only move is to play king e5, queen f5, check, king d4, queen e4, check, king c3, queen c2, check, 
right? So black king is here, our queen is here. If he's going to b4, we will have the move queen c4 check, king a5 and queen a4 check mate, right? You can see it in your head. Let's do it another time because it's very complicated, okay? So rook g8 check, king takes g8. Rook h8 check, king takes h8, the only move, right? Queen h5 check, king g8, queen h7, king f8, queen h8, king e7, queen takes the pawn on g7, king e6, queen is coming to f7 with another check, king e5, queen f5, king d4, queen e4, king c3, the only moves, right, for black, queen c2, and now the best move for black is to coming back to d4 with the king, right? Because on b4 we understand it's not good, right? So king d4, after king d4 is coming here, we will have the move queen c4 check, king e5, queen e4 check, king f6, queen f5 check. The only move is to come to g7, right? This square doesn't have the pawn there because we took it with our queen few moves uh, before it so king g7 queen f7 check king h6 because these rook are not here anymore we sacrifice it, it uh, in the in the beginning of the tactic queen h7 check king g5 and now h4 check king f6 right the only move queen comes to f7 check king e5 queen f5 king d4 queen e4 king c3 queen c2 right you can see it so let's show it and after this if you have questions write in the comment below so rook g8 king takes rook h8 takes queen h5 king g8 queen h7 king f8 check king e7 queen g7 now the best move for black is to play the move king e6 because queen e8 unfortunately queen f7 checkmate right immediately so King e6, queen f7, king e5, queen f5, king d4, queen e4, king c3, queen c2. Now, after king b4, queen c4 check, king a5, and queen a4 checkmate, amazing checkmate, but the black king will go back to d4. We will play queen c4 check, king d e5, queen e4 check, king f6, queen f7, you remember after king e7, queen f7 will, will be a checkmate. So black will play the move king g7, queen f7, king h6. Why? Because after king h6, h8, sorry, queen h7 will bring the checkmate on the board. So king h6, queen h7 check, king g5, the only move. h4, we are pushing the pawn into the attack. King f6, the only move, queen f7, king e5, queen f5, Another time, you remember we did it already, but what is the plan, right? King d4, queen e4, king c3, queen c2, king d4 coming back, because we already understand that after king b4, we will have queen c4, king a5, queen a4 checkmate. So here he will come back to d4, queen c4 check, king a5, queen e4, queen, king f6, queen f5 check, king g7, queen f seven king h6 and now queen h7 it's a checkmate because this pawn is covering this square from the king and we finished the problem we find the solution 25 moves and we give a checkmate for the black's king ladies and gentlemen i really really hope you enjoy this video and you learn how to calculate in your head so much variations and we're sacrificing two rooks in this puzzle to bring the checkmate on h7 after 25 moves wow wow it was crazy thank you very much for watching like the video comment your thought and subscribe my channel bye bye